A.B. de Villiers, one of the most thrilling and talented batsmen of a generation, has announced his retirement from international cricket with immediate effect. He hangs up his boots with 123 test caps, 47 international centuries, over 20,000 runs, an ODI record, a further 28,000 first-class runs, 738 catches and a reputation as one of South Africa's greatest ever players. The retirement of such a talent should conjure up feelings of gratitude and appreciation, and while that has been evident with de Villiers, the response to his announcement on Wednesday afternoon has also been tinged with shock and deflation. Now 34 and with a wife and two sons based in Bella Bella, no one could possibly fail to understand de Villiers' desire to spend more time at home and less time on planes, trains and coaches traveling the world to play cricket. But did his retirement really have to come so soon? After all, for the best part of five years, he has suggested the 2019 World Cup would be his final global tournament in his South African shirt. Failing to win cricket's most coveted trophy used to work de Villiers but, in hindsight, he gave an indication that retirement was on his mind last month when he said winning the World Cup was no longer his ultimate dream. I'm taking it one game at a time, he said following an Indian Premier League fixture for Royal Challengers Bangalore. My ultimate dream is not to win a World Cup. I changed my mindset. I feel it will be nice to win it, it'll be a bonus, but if I don't, it's not going to define my career. I committed to all three formats last season and I loved every second of it. I'll take it one game at a time from here on, the looming World Cup is not the only reason de Villiers' decision comes as a shock. While players may be convinced to pull the plug on their careers after long, tortuous spells in which they have battled with their technique and confidence, de Villiers has waved goodbye to international cricket on the back of a superb test series against Australia. In eight innings against the touring Aussies, he scored one century and four fifties at an average north of 70. His unbeaten 10 at Port Elizabeth was one of his best knocks in red ball cricket. He managed this after returning to the Proteus side having taken a prolonged break from test cricket. Before the series against Australia, he said, Following this recent break, I really do feel refreshed and revived. I want to get back on the field and have assured the national selectors that I will be available for selection in all three formats of the game during the coming season. Less than a year has passed since de Villiers reaffirmed his commitment to South Africa and yet we now know we have seen the last of him on the international stage. One of the game's truly global stars, still in the prime of his career, has decided to walk away. This, in the midst of the ongoing crisis over the future of Test cricket, it is undoubtedly a hammer blow to the international game. More, Dom Bess handed England debut for Pakistan Test at Lords.